Dear all, welcome back to EduArts. In this video, we are going to see how to read the survey maps. So here I am showing you surveyed map of extent 1.5 acres. So this one, a sample image of a survey map. So here, at the top right corner, you see the necessary details which is required for the reading the survey maps. It has the directional details. It shows the north-south direction, and then the CAD file name, and the size to be printed, and the scale it is mentioned, like 1 is to 400, which means measure with the scale 1 centimeter equals 4 meter, and the drawing number for the reference of the draftsman, and the legend symbols are given. So the symbol represents the Ashoka tree, the name tree and palm tree and the control points and wire fence is marked with the solid line with X marks and PP with a green dot represents the power pole and the boundary turning points then the survey stones and spot levels and the contour lines with the values are also given and also you have the area details which will give you the total site area in square meters as well as in square feet and also in the acres so this survey map site extent is about 1.37 acres further down you can find the uh, reference drawings where the drawings are saved and when the drawings are prepared and who prepared the drawings and further the notes are attached to it and the note represents the the note will shows you the details like the dimensions are in meters and when it was surveyed the date and the benchmark detail which is marked in the gate pillar of boundary number 4 and the contour interval gaps which is 0.25 meter and it has a title as well it gives you the survey details this is all about the uh, tablet column which is given at the right side top and bottom corner and now we are getting into the uh, survey map First we start with the road, so it will explain you like where the boundary actually starts. The opposite to our boundary we have a vacant land, it is represented here. The opposite land is also wire fenced and our boundary where we have conducted survey is also wire fenced one. So at the front you don't find a straight line, so whenever there is a break or there is a the lines are not continuous then the measurements are taken. So at the roadside you can find the first measurement of 26 feet and then the 56 feet further 31 and 42 feet so all put together the front face as 157 feet and further moving upwards you can see the contour levels mark here and there so those are the 8.5 8.4 8.5 wherever it is required it is mentioned and the trees were marked here and there with the representations given in the legend as well the plots next to our site as marked as a vacant land further moving upwards we can see the well which has a diameter of 8.46 meter further moving upwards we can see uh, many more trees here and there marked with the legends given in the legend list and further you can see the wire fence as well as the dimensions wherever is required this is how the measurements for the uh, sites, polygonal sites are taken. And now uh, we are going to see one more example which has bigger than this one. It is about almost about uh, 23 acres of land. So this site is almost about 23 acres of land which has many parcels of land okay and now we are going to see another example and this site has 23 acres of land since this has a very huge land parcel we have to work out a key plan initially so we have to uh, we have to break the land into many parcels so as given by as given by the clients the area detail has been break into two parts part 1 and part 2 further the part 1 is break down into 12 parts which which has 12 ownerships as well this part 2 has two ownership details so as like that drawing this drawing also has a 
necessary details like the directions and the CAD file and the scale in which this drawing is supposed to be printed. So here the scale they have mentioned is 1 is 2200 since the land is the land area is more and here whatever the legends they have used they are mentioning here. So the side boundary line is mentioned a solid line and common doll marked in a green line and wire fence with a blue line and X mark and coconut tree, fence pole, mango tree, neem tree and pole with a green dot textured PP, further palm tree, survey stones, then stones, boundary turning points and canton stones. So and uh, part on area details also given. So as suggested by the client, we have taken the different parcels of lands for the measurements. So the purchased one, non-purchased one are taken separately. So we have uh, five parcel of lands wherein the non-purchased one has 2.4 acres, 0.09 acres and 0.15 and with the purchase of 5.5 acres. So the part one has 8 acres of land and part two is composed of uh, 8 parcels and it is uh, and it is of 17 acres part two. So putting together it is about 23 acres of land for the survey. Further down we can see the notes showing that all dimensions are in meters and when it was surveyed the survey details are given. Further the title is marked and who has been surveyed will be marked at the right hand side corners. So now getting into the survey we can start from the road. So in the road we can see that power poles so which are, which are marked as PP and through the road we can see the first land parcels. Within that land parcels, we can see many wells. Each well has its own diameter, like one is bigger one, 13.3 meter dia. And next to that, we have 6.6 .6 meter dia. Further, we have 7.7 and 6.5. So within the side, uh, we have uh, power poles also. And the trees here and there also mark. Further moving left side, we can have part A. And part A as well, in addition, we have motor room also. So the motor room is also clearly marked with the details and the measurements everywhere the diagonal measurements are taken for the references and also the power pole is marked. The purchased area as well as the non-purchased area everything is marked very clearly and wherever the polygonal surfaces are coming they have taken the separate measurements and the back end plans are marked separately like uh, the property next to our boundary and within the property wherever we have motor room or the well it is marked and the trees are highlighted here you can see the coconut trees and particularly this one stretch this stretch is actually a electrical tower running through the site the development around the Electrical towers are prohibited as per uh, TNCDBR norms. So for that purpose, uh, here we have highlighted the electrical tower. So further, uh, we can see the bundle lines also within the within the way. So that's all about the survey map. Thank you.